Next question is from King John King. Have you heard of using Viagra to improve your pump in the gym? Is there any benefit to this? <laughs> I heard you talk about this once before, Sal. That's why I brought this question in here. It yeah. was popular like yeah. in the like late 80s and early 90s. You used to see it, or at least I did, in the, the gym I used to work well, out. Viagra was invented the in the... In <laughs> Viagra, when was Viagra invented? Late 90s, I think. Was it 90s? Yeah. Oh, yeah. so it must have been 90s. Yeah, I guess, probably... I guess that's right. Late I 90s, be, early I was 2000s. in high school, so you're right. 96. You got yeah, it. So 1996. Was, oh, <laughs> yeah, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Memorized. Yeah. So so uh, it's, it's from a class these are breakthrough drugs by the way uh, by the way viagra was cr originally created as a blood pressure medication so what it does it's called a pde5 inhibitor and it inhibits this enzyme that breaks down nitric oxide and nitric oxide has some functions of the body one of which is to dilate blood vessels so opens and relaxes blood vessels so more blood can flow through so they invented it because they said well if we open the blood vessels we'll lower blood pressure then when they did the studies, they said, well, it lowers blood pressure a little bit. But we get these the awesome erections. Yes. What, look at these crazy <laughs> side effects. Everybody's getting boners. this thing. Like, we got a better way to sell this, right? So they sold it that Could way. Could you imagine being part of that? I mean, that just had to have been like one of the most hilarious like, like finds working, ever. Doc, like, I don't you, know. There's did you know minoxidil, the thing that helps grow regrow hair, was also created as a blood pressure lower. And they also saw a side effect and like, oh, we got something else. We can market yeah, this They must too. have just been cha-ching. Yeah. Yep, you know? Exactly. But anyway, so it, does it work uh, for opening up the blood vessels and improving blood flow? Yes. So theoretically, it should improve your performance. Studies show that it doesn't really improve too much performance except for training at altitude. For some reason, when people go to altitude and they get a drop in performance taking things like Viagra. Oh, well, I'd imagine that it would also improve the pump, right? It's got to improve the pump. It's, so maybe, I mean, maybe not performance. There's I mean, nothing. I can't think of. Okay. all the You could take all the citrulline and arginine and pump boosters you want. Nothing's going to boost your nitric oxide like Viagra. Right. So if you want to get a better pump through that mechanism, then Viagra's got to crush it. Right, right. I would think that. that. I mean, as long as you're okay with doing bicep curls with a boner, I think it's... Uh, <laughs> you have uh, to be sexually aroused. Uh, I think. Yeah. Don't think just oh, no, you, you do not. Don't wear a speedo. <laughs> if, you, if you ever fuck with Viagra, you do yeah. not have to be aroused. Did you just get a... Yes, you do. Did you just get a boner off of it? No, oh, no. yeah, dude. I've told you the... Vi I've told you the, on, my Vegas Viagra story that, that when I went to Vegas, the first time I ever experimented with it in my 20s, this is a disclaimer, don't do this. Uh, and I remember someone gave it to me like, oh yeah. So we thought it'd be a good idea. I drank all the two days I was there nonstop, like around the clock. So I wasn't really sober. I come back and sober up from the fly. I'm driving home and it's like it all kicked in at once. And it you was, must have taken a it, massive it, dose. No, I just took I took two or three over the course of like you know. 16 hours. Dude, so it didn't even work while you were there. Right. So I didn't get it while I was there. I was so oh, hammered yeah. that it, like it, it, I never, I never got it an erection there. The whiskey but then there. I'm driving home from the airport from San Francisco with this thing that just will not go away, dude. And it hurt. It so was that so, could happen. So, yeah. And some people have to go to the hospital for it. But dude, the doses vary on it. So like there's like 25 milligrams can go up to 100 milligrams. And maybe you got the strong ass ones. Oh, they yeah, give so you a bunch I, of those. I did that. I don't remember. Yeah. But it, okay. So you know what's interesting? Will it improve performance? Maybe. Uh, is it, oh, it studies also show it can raise testosterone, it can lower estrogen, reduce the risk of stroke, and trip off this, right? If you Google this, look up PDE5 inhibitors and COVID. They're actually looking at these drugs as oh, ways to protect the vascular system wow. when, oh, with oh, an wow. infection of COVID because one of the main you know issues is like these strokes and these damage to your blood vessels. Yeah. And they're actually studying if PDE5 inhibitors are- going to be effective ways to prevent some of those, you know, big <laughs> negative uh, side effects. But yeah, I mean, if you're going to take, I guess, a prescription drug for uh, for better pumps, I mean, I guess Viagra would be it. It's, it's a very expensive way to get a pump. I guess. I mean, drink some more water. Yeah, yeah. Nothing, nothing will give you a better pump than being fully hydrated. That's yeah. true. Yeah, drink some more water. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.